HealthWish is a series of conversations about the state of healthcare in New York City's fabulous fifth borough, Staten Island. Our goal is to raise issues, raise awareness, and raise health, because when we raise health, we raise everyone. The USA's longest serving hospital auxiliary is celebrating 160 years of service on Staten Island. In this episode, we'll learn who they are, what they do, and how you can be a part of this effort to support vital programs and services at Staten Island University Hospital and raise health throughout the entire community. Give it a listen. Today we're here at Bocelli, a Grasmere restaurant serving authentic Italian cuisine for more than two decades. Join me as I sit down with Jennifer Cohen, president of the SIUH Service Auxiliary, to learn more about this volunteer-based service group and to hear about its rich history at Staten Island University Hospital. I'm Jamie Lynn Homan, and this is HealthWish. Welcome to HealthWish. I'm so excited to be sitting down with my colleague, Jennifer Cohen. She is the training program administrator at SIUH. Tell us a little bit about what you do for the hospital first. So my role as the training program administrator in the emergency department is to ensure that our residents are acclimated to starting their residency here on Staten Island. For some of them, it's their first time coming to New York and also training in a residency program can be very stressful. My other roles are also to support our program directors and associate program directors. So you definitely have a lot of responsibilities in your normal career, but you also are the current president of the Staten Island University Hospital Service Auxiliary, which I am a member as well. So it has a very long history with the hospital. Tell us a little bit about the organization and what you do for the hospital. So the auxiliary itself started 160 years ago. That'll be this year we'll celebrate 160 years. It is the oldest continuously serving auxiliary in the country. And it began with just a few of the physician's wives from the medical society. And they decided that they were going to raise some funds because their physician husbands felt that Staten Island needed some type of infirmary. They began fundraising and collected $900, which went to the opening of the hospital one year later. Rumor has it that they also raised $400 to purchase a cow so they could provide milk to the patients and staff at the new hospital. Wow, so it definitely has changed over the years. And I think one of the greatest things about the organization is that it is community-based. So you don't necessarily have to be an employee of the hospital to join. So if somebody on the outside wanted to join and become a member, how would they do that? Absolutely. Every member is like you and me. They're volunteers of the hospital or they're members of our community, physicians, physicians' wives. We've had business members of the community come in and join us and they're very supportive. You could always reach out to us and shoot us an email, fill out an application, and we'd be happy to have anyone join us. And you definitely have expanded and grown over the years. You guys also host a lot of different events. Some of them have been here at Vicelli's. So tell us a little bit about some of those events that you guys put on. So over the years, our events have changed, obviously. We used to do a fashion show. We did basket auctions. We've done trips to Atlantic City. One of our most popular events is actually our Celebrity Chef event, which is held here at Bocelli's. We had Dr. Ardolik and Dr. Basile from the emergency department go head to head in October, so that was wonderful. We also have upcoming, we'll have a lot of luck, which is a scratch off raffle that'll be happening in March. We have um, a new initiative called How Can I Help, which is going to launch in April. And then again, in November, we'll have our next Celebrity Chef event. So more to come on that. Wow, so you have quite the lineup for this year. I'm very excited to attend those events. And so you mentioned that we had some of our hospital employees participating in the event at Vicelli's, but you also had the chef here, Stefano, who was the Celebrity Chef. So tell me, what did he do? How did he get involved? Stefano has been such a great supporter of the auxiliary. He has volunteered his time to cook with our physicians or whoever our celebrities are that year. And he has also donated baskets for our events as well. Everyone loves Stefano and of course they love his food the most. <laughs> of course, I'm sure that they do. It's a wonderful restaurant. So we talk about the money that you raise and of course as the SIUH Service Auxiliary, you know, a lot of your money goes back into the hospital. So tell me about some of your active pledges. This past year alone, we've done a little bit more community-based initiatives. So we sponsored Wreaths Across America. We 
did a food drive, so we did donate a lot of stuff to the South Shore Pantry. Right now, we're gearing up our initiative for our pediatric oncology pledge, which is $100,000. So all of our events going forward will be earmarked for that initiative. And one of the other initiatives that I think is really interesting that you guys participate in is Babies Alumni. Can you tell me what that is? The Babies Alumni is something so emotional and near and dear to my heart. Every baby that's born in Staten Island Hospital gets a first birthday card on their first birthday. A lot of members donate money in memory or in honor of their children. And I say in memory because we have folks that have been donating since 1950 something. Um, and those that have even lost their children now donate in memory of them. We actually had a, a member whose daughter passed away at 17 and to honor her, we actually put her name on our tree of life outside of the heart tower. And she gets in memory card every year for her daughter now. That's amazing, and I know personally, my daughter was born at the hospital. She gets a birthday card now. She got her first one last year, so it's wonderful to receive that from you guys. You definitely are a very community-based organization. You do so much good for so many different people, and it's not just within the hospital, it's outside as well. So I think that it's very important for people to realize that, and if they want to join you, which they should, how would they be able to contact you with any questions? Well, you can. they can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, and they can reach out to our service auxiliary Gmail accounts, or they can give us a call directly and I'll give you my telephone number to give us a call. That's wonderful. I hope that more people will join us. We are growing and expanding. Thank you, Jen, for all that you do for the hospital and with the service auxiliary to make our community a better place. Thank you, Jamie. HealthWish wishes to thank our very special guest, Jennifer Cohen, and the Staten Island University Hospital Service Auxiliary. We're very interested in your HealthWish. Contact us at healthwish at northwell.edu. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again soon.